This is a picture of a Mosin de Gant model 9130. This particular rifle uh, is available for about 100 bucks or less from Southern Ohio Gun or any other distributor. What we're going to do with this rifle is we're going to go through the steps and sequences to convert this into a hunting uh, carbine or small short rifle chambered for 4570. Start off with a barrel blank. This one came from E.R. Shaw. If you notice how the uh, back end of this thing looks here, you see the little bevel where the uh, tip of my index finger is pointing. We're going to cut that off and we're going to face it. Here it is, we're cutting the barrel and we're facing it off to true up the rear of the barrel to the get it uh, started to be threaded up for the action. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the outside diameter of the uh, barrel blank down to the same matching diameter of the receiver itself. Here you see that I've already measured the shank and have the shank cut and we're ready to start threading. I set up the fishtail, we're going to cut 60 degree V threads because that's what the rifle calls for. In this picture here, you can see that I've already cut the barrel threads, or I'm in the process of cutting the barrel threads. This picture here, you see the chamber reamer for 4570 set up and the floating chamber reamer. Once the chamber's been cut down to the last 50 thousandths of an inch, what I'm going to do is uh, test fit the receiver by screwing it up onto the barrel. And then I'm going to use a hand reamer to, or finish reamer to finish reaming the last 50 thousandths and set the head space for this cartridge by hand. We'll take the barrel out, flip it around, and we're going to true up the face of the muzzle. Here's the barrel blank that's already been threaded and short chambered, ready to go. Next step in the process, we're going to chuck this uh, receiver in the milling machine and we're going to mill out the bottom of the magazine well so it'll feed 4570 cartridges. At this time, we're also going to alter the feed ramp so this cartridge will feed, fit and feed right up into the chamber. In this picture here, you see that the receiver of the Mosin de Gant has been run through the process of being color case hardened. Not necessarily for extra strength, but just to have some unusual, really pretty looks. We're actually going to dress up a sow's ear and make a silk purse out of it. This is my cutter tools here that I'm going to cut an 11 degree crown on. I could do that on the lathe, but in this case, I had some new cutter tools. I thought I'd give them a try. And here's the muzzle of the rifle now with an 11 degree crown cut on the end of it. The next step was to disassemble the bolt, chuck it in the lathe, and open the bolt face up. The 4570 cartridge is not going to fit because it's a little bit larger than the original 762 by 54 In this picture, you see the bolt has been reassembled, and you see how the new cartridge fits the bolt head. The next step I did is I took a block of aircraft aluminum, and since this is going to be a scout rifle, I decided to make a Picatinny rail out of aluminum. Here you see the aluminum rail being finished up and drilled. And you see it test fit on the taper of the barrel. <clears throat> At this point I decided to go ahead and drill and tap the barrel and get the scope ready to go. <clears throat> the, or the scope mount. You'll notice in this picture the barrel has already been blued. This is what the pick rail looks like once it's been uh, mounted to the top of the barrel. The next step in the modification is to change the magazine so it will feed and function with uh, 4570 instead of the original 7.62 by 54 cartridge. All I had to do is just cut side panels out and everything else seems to fit. You'll notice that once the magazine has been replaced in the new stock that I've made, you see where the cutouts are at in the picture. You'd think that those cutouts are going to let the rounds rattle around loose in there, but it seems like the wood of the inside of the stock is going to keep them right where they need to be. And I'm test fitting the cartridge to make sure it's going to feed uh, through the magazine and up into the chamber area. The next modification was for a bolt. Since I did not have a bolt handle handy, what I decided to do is use a scrap tire iron that I had uh, picked up to use in the shop. I'm a world champion scrounger and I don't like to throw any kind of metal away. So what I did is I took the tire iron, I cut it off, and I turned it in the lathe to the same diameter as the original short stubby bolt handle. Next, I cut the bolt knob off the original stubby handle, chucked it in the milling machine, and drilled it out. In this picture here, you see that I've TIG welded the new handle material to the original knob. 
And this is after I got the initial bend where I'm starting to work out how, what kind of angle that I want for the new bow handle. In this picture here, you can see I used an oxyacetylene torch and did the final bends and got ready to polish the bolt handle up to weld it in place. Here's the bolt handle welded back up to the bolt body. In this picture here, you can see the angle and degree that I have the, the new bolt handle. Here's the final assembled gun, ready to be test fired. Now, we did this from uh, 762 by 54, so I'm going to talk about the ammunition a little bit. And you see a close up here of the stock. And here's the ammunition that we're firing out of this gun. This is 4570 cartridge, and I'm using a 545 grain cast bullet pushed with 41 grains of IMR 4198 powder. Shot through a chronometer, this bullet is getting about 1,750 to 1,800 feet per second. And I think it's going to be very effective for bear hunting. So now we have a Mosin the Gant that's chambered for 4570, and it's a four-shot repeater. And it works. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.